Gemma just, no just said to me, you've been slugging me off. Keep your head. No, I'm serious, Jack. Yeah. Please keep it. Yeah, Because this is the thing that we're talking yeah, about, sweet. right? The big thing I said I was going to work on for her, the first opportunity I had, I ruined it. And I was just like, I'm, I, was, I was so sorry to her, literally. And I just felt, yeah, it was just, it was just awful how I felt because that was my first opportunity to show her, I, you know, I can be better and I've blown it. And that's what really rattled me. And that's, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm, I just want to go. Creating some sort of game plan. <laughs> no game plan here, lad. You've got yeah. a game plan, though, haven't you? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, I think you have, yeah. Yeah. What's your game plan? Speak to as many people as possible. Yeah. Within reason, I think. Got to have some good conversations. Yeah, yeah. what's your convo like with birds? Is it good? It's all right. Yeah, good chat, right. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I thought I had a couple of good conversations there. Mm, yeah. I actually walked out myself. Oh, did you? Yeah, I walked out the villa. I thought, if I don't get myself out of this situation, things could go wrong here. That night, I took my microphone off, I left it inside, and I walked straight out the front doors, and I thought, I just want to get out of this place. Like, I just want to get out. I'm, like, I was, it, it wasn't, it just, <laughs> listen, I was ready to break down. Like, literally, I was just feeling, like, so mentally drained. <laughs> I was just ready to go. Like, I just wanted to go home and literally just, get myself right because I thought if I stayed there any longer I wouldn't have been able to get back to myself literally I just I was literally feeling awful producers tried coming to me they were like Jack are you okay like please like they were, they were they were there for me but I was saying listen I don't want to speak to you I don't want to speak to anyone I just I just want to be left alone and just have time by myself I know I hurt Paige and Casa more that I regret that so much, you know. I, yeah, I made it. I made that. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah. And I thought, this ain't for me. Like, this ain't just a TV show, mate. I'm not being involved in this TV show no more because feelings were there. Mm -hmm. and I wasn't, I just had to get out of there because I wasn't being myself. It was, it was breaking me down and I was... I was literally just, I didn't want to shatter myself, you know. The night after, I was speaking to the lads and I spoke to Luca and I was telling him I'm, I'm ready to leave. And he was like, no, don't be silly, don't be silly. But I don't think anyone understood me. I literally spoke to Mike, the big boss, and I told him in the morning, I was saying, mate, I am ready to go. I, I can't wait to go. Like, I want to get out of here. And he, he calmed me down a bit. He was like, mate, we don't want to see you go. You know, obviously not. You, you're doing great in there. Uh, it, you'll be fine. So I was like, okay, I'll be fine. That, like, I tried to get myself back on track. And then I went and spoke to... Uh, I had a welfare chat. And uh, she was asking me what made me feel like this and why I act like I do and why I'm so scared of being hurt. And it just got me thinking, it got me thinking about my whole childhood and yeah, it got me thinking about some stuff with my mum, how my mum's been trapped in, uh, in her life. And I just, at that point, I, it just broke me. I was just, I was already broken. And I, I with Paige as well, I was just like, like that is a girl I want to be with and for, to potentially, you know, like not be myself and, and like show her that I couldn't move forward being myself was what I, I had to take myself away from the situation because listen, she fell for me in there uh, in the first two weeks and you know that that was me and I was in a good headspace and, and she loved everything about me she she said she couldn't change one thing and the, in the end I couldn't be that I couldn't be that person for her mm -hmm. I literally couldn't be that person for her so that's why I thought it was right to go because mm -hmm. I didn't want to push the girl away from me and then obviously when she comes out I can just Hopefully we can we can continue things on on the outside with not cameras and not not things TV you know 
uh, actual real life. And that's what it was in there for me. It, it was real life. It wasn't just a TV show, what people people think it is. Pe viewers just think, you know, oh, they're just on a TV show, this, that. I didn't think for one minute, it, in the last two weeks, I was just on a TV show. That was real for me. And I was just, I was going through every emotion what I've never been through in my life. And it, it was just, it was rattling me. It was just rocking me as a person. And I've never really been in such a bad place. Uh, I just felt broke. And I, first time in my life, I was just like, I just need to sort myself out because this this ain't right on myself. It, it literally like, because I just didn't want to get to a point where I couldn't get back. You know what I mean? And it was edging that way.